Yes, there is still an outbreak of E. coli from romaine lettuce, and yes, you are probably seeing romaine at your local grocers. Fear not. Most major grocery outlets across central Pennsylvania are assuring customers that the romaine lettuce stocked in their produce stalls is safe to eat. Dennis Curtin, a spokesman for Wise Markets, said that the first thing the retailer did at news of the outbreak was to check with all of its suppliers to ensure that all of the romaine lettuce sold at its stores were safe. The E. coli outbreak, and recall, has centered around produce from the Yuma, Arizona area. Curtin said Wise gets its romaine lettuce from California in Florida. We also insist that they provide assurance to us in writing and that's what we've been doing, Curtin said. Romaine lettuce recalled over E. coli, do not buy it or eat it, CDC says as of the last count from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, E. coli has sickened 98 people in 22 states. Pennsylvania had 18 of the cases, the most of any state. State health officials this week advised anyone with romaine lettuce in their refrigerator, including whole air chopped varieties, to throw it away. Health officials have found no other lettuce aside from romaine to be impacted by the outbreak. Only romaine lettuce grown in the Yuma, Arizona, region appears to be impacted. E. coli is a bacteria associated with human and animal feces, people infected with the outbreak strain of E. coli 0157, H7, by state of residence, as of April 26, 2018, N equals 98. Centers for Disease Control Scott Carnes, head of Carnes Food Markets, said that at this point, his stores are carrying romaine lettuce from California suppliers. The retailer had tossed out all its romaine lettuce produce at first news of the outbreak, but has restocked since with the California lettuces. Carnes offers perennial words of wisdom, when eating raw vegetables and fruits it's a good idea to wash it, it is a raw product that has been exposed to outdoor elements, it may be in a clean and clear bag but it has been cut in the fields and shipped to the east coast. They need to be washed before eaten. In general, he said, produced marked triple washed should need further washing. In a written statement to Penn Live, a spokesman for Giant, Martin's Food Market said the outlets have also worked with suppliers to verify that all romaine lettuce products currently available in stores are safe. None of the romaine lettuce products are from the Yuma, Arizona region. Pennsylvania has 18 of the cases of E. coli infections, the most of any state. State health officials this week had advised anyone with romaine in their refrigerator, including whole air chopped varieties, to throw it away. AP Photo, Gregory Bull, Ivy De Jesus, Ida Jesus at PenLive.com The strain involved in the outbreak is considered a particularly nasty strain of Shiga toxin producing E. coli 0157-H7, according to the CDC. 46 people have been hospitalized, including 10 people who have developed a type of kidney failure called hemolytic uremic syndrome. No deaths have been reported. Most people recover from the infection within one week. E. coli infection is usually diagnosed by testing a stool sample. What are some of the signs and symptoms of E. coli infection? People usually get sick from Shiga toxin producing E. coli, stack 2 to 8 days, average of 3 to 4 days, after swallowing the germ. Most people infected with E. coli develop diarrhea that can be bloody, severe stomach cramps, and vomiting. Some infections are very mild, but others are severe or even life-threatening. About hemolytic uremic syndrome, kidney failure, husk can occur in people of any age but is most common in children younger than 5 years, adults aged 65 years and older, and people with weakened immune systems. Husk develops about 7 days after symptoms first appear, when diarrhea is improving. Clues that someone is developing hus include decreased frequency of urination, feeling very tired, and losing pink color in cheeks and inside the lower eyelids. People with HUS should be hospitalized because their kidneys may stop working. Most people with HUS recover within a few weeks, but some suffer permanent damage or death. Source, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention